Welcome to Vision MBA. Now guys, if you have appeared in the CAT examination and if you have got more than 80 to 85 percentile in CAT examination and of course if you are an engineer, now guys I strongly recommend you to apply for IIT MBA. Now as you can see admissions for MBA at IITs. Now the last date to apply for IITs is January 31st and as you can see this advertisement pic I have taken from Times of India. You can go on their official website, you can scan it and you can get the detail. Here steps for the application process is also mentioned that visit the website for shortlisting and final selection criteria. Anyway guys, I thought I give you more information than just this part. I am going to talk about the cutoff and cutoff for the reservation. Now IIT Kharagpur got 90 percentile CAT cutoff for general category that means that is the selection criteria if you got more than 90 percentile you will be, you'll be considered for further rounds and if you are into reservation you should have got more than 75 percentile. For IIT Bombay again it's 90 percentile for CAT and 60 percentile for SCST and PD. For IIT Delhi 90 percentile, for IIT Kanpur it is 85, IIT Roorkee 90 percentile and IIT Dhanbad 80 percentile and as, as you can also see the cutoff for SCST candidates here. Now again guys you also got information about the final cutoff, I will give you the final cutoff, IIT Delhi is always on the top, general category the last candidate who got the admission and uh, the, the candidate had 98 percentile for reservation is 97 IIT Bombay 98.5 of course Delhi and Mumbai will always be on the top then you can see IIT Kharagpur 90 percentile IIT Roorkee 94.6 IIT Madras 96 IIT Kanpur 95 IIT ISM Dhanbad is 80 percentile now guys how the marks matters okay so firstly I will tell you about IIT Delhi IIT Delhi and I also want to tell you that every IIT got their own selection criteria okay or selection criterion for example for class 10 mark they'll be giving you one weightage class 12 2 cat overall score is 50 and then you can see personal interview is also of 25 so more than your class 10 12 and uh, aggregate graduation marks you will be gauged on your personal interview and written aptitude test after the cat score so this is for the iit delhi now for IIT Delhi guys, this is the fees. It is going to be 8.8 .8 to 9.6 lakhs. Total seat intake is 116 and the average salary is 18.47 lakhs per annum. Now guys, the, this data can fluctuate. I know after this many people will comment, itna ho gaya, itna ho gaya. so guys, please calm down. Okay, so that is there. And now I will talk about IIT Bombay. Okay, IIT Bombay information I'll talk about here. IIT Bombay selection procedure is they give you maximum weightage on your CAT score and then personal interview and then of course written ability test. Now guys, I want to tell you that after CAT examination, no one tries to pay attention on personal ability, uh, personal interview and writing written ability test. At Vision MBA, we train students individually for that. Now what happens is when you prepare for GDPI, you are taken in a room or you are going to be with so many students and every student, every person is different, every individual is different. So at Vision MBA, we, we prioritize the individuality of a person. If you are an introvert, we will be grooming you as per that. If you are an extrovert, we will be grooming you for that, as per that. Now guys, the fees for IIT Bombay is around 8.73 lakhs for two years. Total seat intake is 120 and average salary is 20.8 lakhs per annum. Now, let's talk about IIT Kharagpur, CAT cutoff and selection procedure. Fees is 10.51 lakhs, seat intake is 140, average salary is 17.42 lakh. And how the selection parameters are CAT score is 20%. Application rating is 20 and bad PI. Now guys, just pay attention to this fact. IIT Kharagpur gives maximum weightage to VAT and PI. That is written aptitude test and uh, ab ab uh, or you can say in other words, it's like an essay writing competition and personal interview. 60 marks for that. Now let's talk about IIT Rurki. Fees is 8 lakhs. Seat intake is 95. Average salary is 9.18 lakhs. And the IIT Rurki selection parameter is They'll give you maximum weightage just like every IIT maximum on CAT score group discussion is 10, personal interviews 20, work experience is 5. So if you are someone who didn't score good in 10, 12th or graduation, IIT Rurki is the college to look out for because they are not paying attention to your 10, 12th and graduation performance. 
Now let's talk about IIT Madras. The fees is 8 lakhs, seat intake is 68 and average salary is going to be around 12.44 lakhs per annum or you can say 12.5 whatever. IIT Madras selection parameters are CAT score, past CAT, that's the serial number that means they will be giving you maximum weightage on your CAT score then past academic performance if you are a working professional, personal interview, the academic and gender diversity. So if you are someone who got work experience IIT Madras is to look out for. Now let's talk about IIT Kanpur. IIT Kanpur fees is 4.14 lakh. The fees is quite less. Average salary is around 11 lakhs. Total number of seats are 78 and of course now guys I am giving you for Dhanbad also it's 3.4 lakhs. Seat intake is 62. Average salary is 8 lakhs. So I hope this information I've given you a basic information so that you understand that you should be applying for these colleges or not. If you are an engineer and if you have got more than 80, 85 percentile, if you are in a general category or if you are into reserve category but you have got more than 75 percentile, I surely recommend you to apply to these IITs. Thank you and stay blessed guys.